Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sun today, the 8th of July 2011. There has been reports of a massive outbreak of storms on Saturn. Doubtless some will blame this on global warming originating from the Sun. But this is a regular occurrence. Every 29 years when Saturn gets closest to the Sun, these sorts of storms break out. However, this one does look very beautiful. So I guess today's trivia question should be about Saturn. So who discovered the nature of the rings of Saturn? The answer will be given at the end. Every now and then I get a forecast right. Yesterday, much against the odds, I forecast we'd get sea flares. And as I started to put this uh, video together, a sea flare is in progress. In the meantime, we've had a whole string of small bee flares. Some of them are quite impulsive, and this new sea flare looks impulsive too, so that implies that we're getting some region that is growing relatively rapidly. So let's take a look at the sunspot regions and see where it is. Region 1244 has now rotated over the west limb, but judging from the Helium 2 movie that you'll see later, it is producing quite a bit of activity. Region 1243 seems to have grown a little bit since yesterday, and they've numbered a new region in the northeast, region 1245. I know I think they've actually made a mistake here because I think there's two regions in that area, so there should be another region just up behind it. You remember the region that I got all enthused about yesterday that a very high latitude in the south? Well, it's gone, although you can still see it in the magnetic data, so there's a chance it might re-emerge. Speaking of re-emerging, remember I mentioned a region of two or three days ago that seemed to be coming up near the southeast limb, but it died away before it could be numbered? Well, it's back, and it's back with a vengeance, and in fact I believe all these sea flares have come from it. So the sun's got a veritable case of acne at the moment. So let's take a look at the sunspot movie and magnetic movie from the HMI instrument on Solar Dynamics Observatory. You can see the rapid emergence of that region in the southeast quite plainly. But what I would like you to concentrate on in the magnetic movie are these regions marked here. In green, these are regions that are emerging, and in red, the region that disappears. You'll note there's also a region coming up behind region 1243 in the northwest. So we might have a new sunspot group there soon. In the Transition Region movie, you can see all the activity associated with Region 1244 as it's going behind the east limb. It's a pity it didn't decide to do that while it was on the main disk. You can't see the recent developments of that region in the southeast in the coronal movies as they're running about 10 hours behind the magnetic and optical movies, for reasons unknown. You can see the dark patch, which is a coronal hole in the northwest, which may put us in a high speed solar wind stream soon. The SOHO coronagraph data shows that we've had at least three CMEs, two off the east limb and one off the west limb. I'm not sure what's up with the C3 coronagraph with this bright patch, but it seems to have been cured now. The ACE data shows that about a day ago, the solar wind temperature jumped very suddenly. However, the speed hasn't changed much, and the density, if anything, has drifted lower. So I'm not quite sure what that means. Perhaps we had a coronal mass ejection brush past us, but wasn't very geo-effective. The auroral zones seem quite uh, agitated, however, uh, the KP index is still relatively quiet, varying between 1 and 3. So in summary then, the X-ray background is at B1, the sunspot number is at 42, though I think that's going to go much higher, the radio sun intensity is at 86 solar flux units, the solar wind speed is unchanged at 350 kilometers per second, with a slightly lower density of 2 protons per cubic centimeter and geospace conditions are rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours is that the chance of getting sea flares is good. I just took a sneak peek at the GOES X-ray plot and there's a second sea flare underway so that prediction is already correct. But the chance of getting M and X flares is still relatively poor. The sunspot number will go higher with all these new regions emerging. We've still got a very good chance of getting coronal mass ejections. The solar wind speed may ease higher with this coronal hole coming into play, but the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is quite poor. We can see from the hybrid uh, coronal plot that there is a major region due to come over the east limb in about two days time and we should start seeing the harbingers of those high loops any time soon. And probably the coronal mass ejections we've been seeing coming off of the east limb are from this region. So there's some hope for an increase in activity when that region arrives. If you want to find out more about what's going on in the Sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see some earlier editions of The Sun Today, then go to my channel, they're all listed there. 
The answer to the trivia quiz as to who discovered the nature of Saturn's rings was Christian Huygens. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now. <laughs>